What's up BJJ fans and of course the BJJ stands for Blind Judo Journey. This week I am at the heart of England Championships. Probably the, uh, one of the biggest competitions in the country. Last year I did this competition at 81 kilos. I got 7th. I won one fight, which to be fair I was really happy with at the time. This time we're, we're going to try and get better than that. I would love to medal, but just getting some wins under my belt would also be really, really good for me. My client 73s, I've just weighed in. Okay, so it's twin pools, there's seven people. I'm in a pool of three. That means if I just win one fight, and then I'll be going through to the semi-finals. with my first fight basically the my opponent threw me for wasari um which originally was no score but then got called for wasari then i threw him for wasari which was called for rip on but then it got put down to wasari so i was like oh no and then he managed to throw me with the same throw again for wasari wasari arasetti upon i was really really frustrated with that i got from the same throw twice and coming away from that so frustrated i was nothing more than to fight him again and that moment when you're down and I watched his next fight, he got beat by the other guy in our pool, so I'm going, oh my gosh, I must, I, there's no chance I'm going to win here, I've come, I've spent the whole day, I've made waste, complete waste of time, I'm not even going to get through the group stage. But then I dug deep, I remembered other times when I've beaten people who I thought were going to beat me, when I managed to come back and thought how much effort I put into this, and I went out there. That was better. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yeah, the unlock, that's the jujitsu coming from. Cheers, Mikey. Uh, <laughs> but, but it was our first as well. I think I was just, it was just trying to break this grip. And I've been working on not letting that happen. Control the strong side. Chris Barry, control the sleeve. Boom. Good. That meant that it was a three-way tie, so we had to refight the whole thing, which meant I got to come back and fight the guy who I've been wanting to fight since I lost to him just now. I wanted to fight him again. I really wanted to fight him again so I could learn from my mistakes. Refighting against the guy who hit me with a drop CO twice. We're gonna try and learn from that. Still pretty tired from the previous fight, to be fair. What'd you say? Spitfire. Hey!
43. Best win. Well done. Best win. He was well. I think he's got an injury or something as well. So. Yeah, he was. He was, was nursing his leg at one point. I think it's his back. And also, yeah, his back was kind of stretched out when he was down. Yeah. Um, he was just. He was realizing he just couldn't do his. He was nothing. Same as you. He was a bit slower than you. you know? It's so hot. Yeah. But the drops here, yeah, we just couldn't do it. Yeah. And you just that out, didn't you? I was just blocking, blocking, blocking. I'm trying to hit with the macro for me. On the ground, uh, I knew he couldn't get me. Got a little bit of time wasting, but that's one of the best wins of my life. Okay. One of the hardest fights I've ever had, but I threw him twice with the Makakami. Boom on the floor. He didn't hit me with the Sinagi. I made sure that he wasn't able to do it. 
so proud. And going into that, then I'm going, I've just got to beat the guy I've already beat. I've already beaten him. What's that, Ralph? They call me Spitfire. Did it again. Did what worked last time. Did a weird bit of near so I kind of flip over him. But I've practiced enough bottom half guard to be able to hold that for years. So he couldn't get, couldn't he get actually, past him. Once you were down at one point, he started uh, trying to get taken into a grip, and I thought he'd done BJJ. But. He, he might have done some, but dumb judo guys would just do that anyway. But I've done a lot of BJJ, so he me defend that sort of stuff. Okay. Anyway, two wins. That puts me in the semi final. Well done. Which guarantees us bronze. And now we're fighting for gold or silver. Excellent, well done. I went out, beat the same guy again with a beautiful Makikomi, hit him again. So proud, giving me now 70 points towards my third down. I'm nearly there, guys. Putting me through to the semi final. Big buzz. Bit fire. Let's go.
Okay. So he figured out how to beat me. His coach said, it's going to be the Ashiwaza. Um, but he was right. He was just taking the sand off. Taking the sand off. So I switched, actually. First time I've done that in a comp. Yeah. I switched to a left-handed just because he was just ripping my hand off and there was nothing I could do about it. You know, trying to defend, trying to defend, trying to defend, but I just couldn't, you know. So I had to try something new. I thought, oh, what have I got to lose? I've already got bronze. So I'll try something new. And it was interesting. It wasn't a complete failure. It didn't, lose, it didn't cause me to lose, which is nice. But his coach said, it's going to be the Ashy was And he was right. It was a beautiful throw. Was I fought him, even though he was better than me, to be fair. He's been selected for Junior European Championships. He's going out there next week. He was obviously very good. I still scored against him. I scored in every match I had, even the ones I lost, I managed to get a Wazari on the board. This has been the best competition I think I've ever been to. Um, I managed to, I lost my first fight, um, but I, um, I managed to learn from it and come back stronger. And I managed to not fall for what I fell for the first time. Then going into my second fight, fighting uh, Jack, I managed to beat him twice. Once with the armbar, once with the Antikomi. I I can't believe that I managed to do that. I, I think this is definitely my biggest comeback. Like when you when you lose your first fight and you're sitting there and watching the other guy beat the guy who just beat you and you go, oh no, I'm gonna lose. I've, I've come here, I've done a whole day. It's been worth nothing. I didn't get any points. And then you come out and you manage to beat the guy who beat you, making it the three-way tie. And you come back, learn from that, manage to beat the guy who beat you and beat the guy who you've already beaten. So I've had four fights, winning three of them. And then going into the semi-final, I think everything going into today, from making 73 kilos, the the saunas, like just to make the weight, the eating nothing but steak for you know the last week, from salad, um, it all goes into. I literally was dreaming about this for the past few days, saying, "Wow, if I just got bronze, if I just got a medal, a sighted comp against sighted people at the biggest biggest regional in the country, like." Wow, okay, I did, I'm so proud. That was the best, best comp I think I've ever done, biggest comeback. Um, so bronze, ranked, sighted category now. <sighs> Thank you so much. I've got more stuff coming in the future, there's stuff to look out for. We've got some comps coming in the, the end of September that'll be really exciting for everyone, but I can't say too much. Keep watching, if you wanna follow my blind judo journey into international visually impaired judo, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Saramade.